Well, a letter that escapee Richard Matt reportedly wrote to his daughter just before he broke out of prison says quite a lot in hindsight. He wrote, quote, I always promised you, you I would see you on the outside. I am a man of my word. Well, what we do know is that his daughter reported that to authorities and that she says she knew nothing about his escape. But he did escape, and as we know, uh, he has not uh, seen his daughter since then. Police shot and killed Matt and later captured his fellow fugitive, David Sweat. But there are questions about why prison officials didn't see that letter before Matt mailed it, and if they could have seen it, would it have made a difference? Well, we're going to talk about that and a whole lot more with Robin Miller. She is a former New York City corrections officer from Rikers Island. She just penned a book titled Sex, Drugs, Thugs, The Untold Truth Behind New York Jail Corruption. It comes out in September. Thank you for being with me. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Let's talk about this because you've said you're not shocked at all by what happened at Clinton Correctional in Dannemora. You actually say the inmates, quote, analyze us all day and know who is vulnerable. How did you experience that? You have to understand something. Inmates have nothing else to do but watch us. They study us. They just, they, they know every, they, they listen to us. They listen to us talk about each other. They listen to um, the captains. They listen to, they listen to the, they know the whole setup. Day in and day out, they watch, they observe, and they plan. The inmate is always planning their escape. The conditions in the jail are so bad that they want to get out. So on a daily basis, they're constantly planning mm -hmm. how they're going to break out. What we have learned uh, is that the New York State prison policy is that they don't read outgoing inmates' mail unless a superintendent deems that that person is a risk. So now we know, according to the Buffalo News, that, that Richard Matt sent this letter to his daughter days before he escaped, saying, I'll see you on the outside. I always said that I would. Do you think that's a policy that needs to change, or is that something you would expect to hear from sort of that's someone false. who's desperate? That's false. They read all the outgoing mail. That's not, our Jean Casares reported with us yesterday, that is not the policy right now, right now, within the New York State prison system, they don't, that they don't read all the outgoing mail. They didn't read Matt's outgoing mail because he was in the, in the, in the honor block. Mm. But I know personally, because my nephew's incarcerated, and they read all his outgoing mail. So you wonder how someone got into the honor block who had <laughs> killed two people and escaped from prison before. What does that say about the system? Well, the system is broken. The system needs to be fixed. Let's talk about some of your experiences. You have said that in your 20 years in, in this system, working in this system, your colleagues were tougher to deal with than the inmates, that there is a thin line between inmate and officer. What do you mean? Why was it tougher with your, your peers? Well, when it came to the inmates, the inmates would listen to me. As long as you respect them and you demand respect and you draw a line in the sand, they'll do whatever, and as long as you do your job, They'll do whatever you ask them to do. My colleagues, on the other hand, they didn't, they, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Um, it's care, custody, and control. That's what we were, we were hired for. And, and the thing that I've been thinking about a lot is, is that you, you say to yourself, what is a correction officer? We're hired in our 20s. We're still kids ourselves. So you're giving us a badge. You're giving us a gun, and you're giving us a bunch of people to watch, grown folks to basically babysit, and we just coming out of high school. So they're coming in, and this is, to me, it's a high school setting. And what I experienced is, um, as soon as you, as soon as a female officer comes to a jail, especially a male jail, the the, the um, male officers try to hit on them. They want to date them. Um, everybody's like they're fresh meat. Hmm. When they can't when they can't have their way, they get an attitude. And then they black, they basically blacklist you in the jail. And then they get the females to stop talking to you. And then it, it becomes a big part of isolation. So I had to deal with coming to work every day, dealing with a bunch of coworkers, with the gossip. It's just it's like any other job. See, we don't want to generalize, right, this whole industry, right? Because no, a lot of it's people are doing hard work. Yeah. No, not everyone. Not... Final question before I let you go. How do you change things then? Robin, you had so much time in the system. You're writing a book about it now. How do things change? It has to start with the administration. It has to start with the academy. They have to stop telling these people in the academy that the inmates are the enemy. They have to start there. 
They have to have the bosses do their jobs. The officers are not doing their jobs. They're not care, custody, and control. They're not watching these, these, these prisoners. Mm. They're more concerned with the co-workers instead of doing their job. And Albany has to get involved. And the mayor has to get involved. Mm. When the complaints start coming in, they have to act. I cover all of that and the solutions. I have solutions to exactly how do we fix this broken system mm -hmm. to make it work. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have more escapes and you're going to have officers getting killed in the line of duty behind wow. this. And yes. You've said if you give them the inmates an inch, they will, they will take a mile. They will, they will take you uh, for whatever yes. you've got. Thank you, Robin Miller. Yes. A fascinating book coming out September. And they can go to RobinKMiller.com. And pre-order the book. It's coming out in September. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank being you. with us. Nice to meet you. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be right back.